So now we have a brief little circuit for you. This could take about five minutes. We've got five exercises um, and try and go through them 10 reps of everything, maybe one to two times, depending on how you're feeling. These are mostly exercises we've seen except for our first one, which is marching. So similar to the squat, we're getting mobility through the hip and low body. We've got Sharon who's gonna do this supported on the back of a chair, two hands to start. Maura's gonna do it freestanding. So you'd be counting up 10 reps. Sharon, if she wanted to make this a little bit more challenging, would go to single arm. Both are focused on their shoulders being back and down, core tight and breathing. From here, we're gonna get Sharon to sit and do her press and Mora to do her push up. So Sharon's spreading those fingers, shoulders back and down, pressing that imaginary wall away, core is engaged, look at how strong she looks, and Mora's in pretty close to the wall, fingers are spread and pushing herself back. Again, you would go for about 10 on each side, or sorry, 10 of one of these. And then we're gonna get Sharon to transition into her elbows at 90, palms open, and Mora's gonna be on the ground doing her seated up and open. So we're getting into that upper back, we're using that core for stability again. Nice long neck, getting some, mob or some lengthening through there. And again, you do about 10, or if you, need, if you stop a little bit sooner because you feel fatigue, then do that. After this, Sharon is going to move into her back extension, so her reach and extend, and more is gonna roll over onto the floor for her cobra. So again, very similar motions, not quite overhead. You're gonna to go to your toes and then come into those cactus arms. So you're in 90 degrees coming up, yep, and opening. So reach down and then your arms start coming up and open, core as tight as you come up, good, yep. And again, about 10 of these. And then we have one final exercise, which is always my favorite, which is squats. And remember, squats don't necessarily need to be a squat. The hip hinge is really what is most important at this stage for our squat. So Sharon is doing that with her feet pretty close into the chair. We're gonna step in just a little bit closer and then trying to send her bum back, allow her knees to bend, keep her body tall, and squeeze the butt cheeks to get back up. Yep, so very nice, small movement. Again, Sharon's quite strong, she's going quite deep, don't feel like you need to go that far. Maura's doing the same thing, unassisted from a chair. So remember we talked about the option to be in between these two is to use a chair that has um, support. Or you could also do what Maura's doing with a chair back in front of you and use that to pull you up slightly. So lots of options here. If you get through this one time and you still have time in a five minute segment, consider doing a second round and have fun.